We're tied at one apiece here between Cognitive Gaming and Denial Esports. Dot, let me hear the prediction. Before going into it, you said Denial. Mm -hmm. I still Is think that the case? I still think it's Denial. Um, riding on the back of Shing. I do think Ooh. that the I do think that the momentum right now is in Cognitive Gaming's court. They just won game two. They looked very good. Uh, and right here, I, Shing is probably the most notable player on Denial to really get on tilt. So if he can keep a level head, I think it should be interesting. But let's take a look at these hunters because Madman Mark, extremely quiet last game. Zero, one, and zero was the ending slash line. So if he wants to come up on top like his stats say he is, he needs to make a little bit more noise in Game 3. Yeah, I mean, these two are very, very evenly matched here, uh, especially since they're pretty much sporting the exact same record <laughs> as well. Uh, so, all things tall, very, very good matchup here in yeah. the Hunter lane. Uh, but, really, I, I don't know if we're going to see a Sirket come out of Shing again. Uh, it seemed that Cognitive Gaming really had their number in regards of pushing up, so I would be surprised to see the Sirket happen. Uh, but, at the end of the day... It's it, interesting. It, it comes down to sides as well. It's interesting to me because I really feel like Sirket really nails what Shing is good at. Sirket is very slippery and and sneaky, and that's really what Shing is generally good at. We see him play well on Bastet. Uh, he he's good at surprise him in your jungle, stealing your stuff. Now I'm not can't really figure out where I am. I'm everywhere on the map at the same time. I don't really take the same routes as, the, as all the other junglers. Sirket's supposed to work well with that, but unfortunately for Shing, did not see much success last game. Uh, so, I'm going to switch it up a little bit. Bands are in for Denial. Two bands in, Athena and Bastet. Cognitive opting to ban Sylvanas, afraid of that Shadow Q. I almost wonder if the best is going to go back to the Sobek. In okay. game one, the, the Sobek was very, very good. We touched on the best really playing it throughout the duration of the game. His positioning was good. His aggression was even better. He was always in a spot to where he can just really do whatever he wanted. And surprisingly enough... Denial is going to grab Sirket, so Shing went 1-6 yeah. and something last game. We'll see if he can turn it around this game. Yeah, I, I, I don't think that really was a, a reflection of, you know, sometimes things are just one game. Oh, just yeah, Just because sure. they don't work doesn't mean you can't do them again. There's a lot of variables in Smite. A ton of variables oh, in yeah, Smite. Oh, yeah, for sure. And so, try it again. I, I like the decision, especially the game three. If you're confident on a god and you don't do well in game two, Bringing out game three anyway. Geb and Hun Bats picked out on Cognitive Gaming. Hun Bats going to be looking for just disruption. Yeah, and you synergize that up with a Cataclysm coming out of Geb. Whoever their last one is could be very good. I would love to see maybe Poseidon as a mid laner would be very good just because of the burst damage. Works pretty well with Hun Bats as well. Uh, but going up against the Isis there. I think that's like a 5-5. Five five. I'm not really sure who wins the Isis Poseidon matchup. Yeah, I mean, their, their clear early is, is very similar, as yeah. we mentioned. Um, and they, they do different things. Poseidon, mid to late game, will transition into a just... Or the whole game is pretty much a burst mage, look yeah. at me, roar. Isis, more of a control mage. Really wants to make sure you get those objectives. Really Could wants to Kukulkan use the again, long yeah. stuns, etc. So... More control in the way of Isis. Bacchus being picked up for the second time this series from Shadow Q. Really likes this character after the buff. Oh, yeah. I, and I think a lot of people do. Uh, I mean, he's got some of the best objective steal potential yeah. in Smite. Shablanca gets picked up for Cognitive Gaming here. Pretty much investing a little bit into the late game here. Cupid gets taken out, uh, which they really didn't need to do that because they won that ma matchup front to back last game with mm -hmm. it. So... Bakasura gets banned as well. Uh, Baka got first blood, and even though he died after that, he still did relatively well. I mean, the slow alone is great. Giannis gets picked. Wow. I uh, I didn't see that coming, and that's mainly because people view Giannis as this inconsistent damage. Yeah. Uh, but really, he's so good. Herwin used to play a lot of Giannis when he was on his previous team, Fat Chunks Assemble. Uh, really just haven't seen much of him recently. There's a Sobek pick. You yeah. still be curious to see if we would see the best back on him. There he is. Yeah. So Sobek's going to be great. Now, Giannis, there was a time way back in the day when Giannis, and by way back in, this is my way back in the day, so okay. September, All right. where Giannis <laughs> was actually played in the solo lane. Yeah. So I wonder if that'll be the case. That was actually one of the bigger moments of our kickoff land, I believe. Cognitive Red, who previously wasn't looked at as very good, now Team Solo made his one of the more feared teams, right? The, one of the first teams oh, yeah. to really qualify for, for LAN here. Um, Divios brought out Giannis, completely surprised everybody, ran the show. So, 
can be played in the solo lane. Definitely something we All can right. see. Uller picked up for Madman Mark. I think this is a better look. Uh, Madman Mark didn't really look like himself on Cupid. Uller is a character that Mark has played very proficiently. So I'm expecting a louder game this time around from the Denial Hunter. So Arachne will be the solo laner here is my assumption. Hunbat's going into the jungle. They want that versatility. Arachne going up against Sobek. Again, I don't know if she has much kill potential. She'll at least be able to live with the web, yeah. the infinite web. But, we, I mean, we will see. It's just going to be really hard. I mean, Mark of the Vanguard on Sobek in the solo lane is just about the worst thing to deal with. There's I mean, so no Mark of the Vanguard will excel against this character specifically because of the babies. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. What happens is Mark of the Vanguard is minus five for every attack. And... Arachne's babies do multiple little attacks. Well, they're just not going to hurt that much. Yeah, they're not going to do anything. Level one, they might even immune out. I'm not sure <laughs> how much damage they do. But if they do five damage or less, they will do zero. <laughs> so very interesting interaction right there. And the ward's going to hit as yeah, the un the vortex just, there. Just grouped up like always. Yeah, yeah, no, they always do it, man. And Cog, Cog is doing what teams... This is So Denial, way back in the day, years ago... Slightly different team, still with Mace of the Face. This was their gimmick. They would fight people early on. And how teams responded to that, they just started standing underneath their mid tower. <laughs> until like five seconds to go. And that's exactly how Cog has responded. So these players definitely have seen this one before. They know how to react. We're just going to stand under the tower. You can't touch us. <laughs> yeah, the old, old Michael Jackson there. Uh, Shadow Q is just going to eat these babies here. Just going to clean them up. Looks like they will be trying to go for this. They're just really trying to delay. This is exactly what happened in game number one. Mm -hmm. Was they pushed up, they stole the red buff, which is very interesting that we didn't see that when they actually played from the chaos side. And the hand of the god should be coming down any second now. And there it is, Shadow Q. Did he actually pick it up? Yeah, Shadow Q actually yeah. sporting the red buff around the king's belly. <laughs> Bacchus doing very well with the uh, the red buff. Definitely one of the stronger supports when it comes to just Oh, they're going in on damage. it again. They're, they're delaying them from getting this purple buff as well. And uh, they at least Cognitive Gaming was able to pick up the purple buff, so Famous Hate isn't going to be that far behind. And now Denial will be looking to shove this lane so they can get Madman Mark a safe purple buff. Madman Mark still nothing. Zoning pretty well. Uh, nobody wants to get too close to this Bacchus Uller combo. The 3-1 combo, that'll drop. They're still only level 1. But once he hits level 2, that 3-1 combo out of Uller will hurt a lot, especially with some Bacchus interference. Well, they, they really need to be careful here. Arachne comes on a very fast rotation. Same with Giannis. Babies come out as well. Shadow Q might get stunned here. And still waiting, still alive. They just need one thing. Oh! There it is. <laughs> Unstable Vortex doing all of the things. Heroin, first blood. That's what Giannis brings to the table, is a lot of damage and a lot of mobility. Now they're going to steal the purple buff as well. I I don't know if Denial can really answer this. This is a very far hole to be down already, uh, especially on the experience side of things. And they're now going to try to take the red buff. They might be a little bit greedy here. Mace of the Face is rotating. Same with Shing. Are they going to look for the this? Positioning. Denial Esports has the positioning right here, but a bad move is going to make sure that Cognitive Gaming are out of there. No problem. They had the positioning. They were in front and behind the red team, not able to maximize that situation. So Denial lets that one go. Cog takes the entire jungle along with First Blood. It's really going to come down to the best here. And actually, Hunbats, uh, by the way, my correction here, Meerkat actually bringing Hunbats into the solo lane to go up against the Sobek. So Sobek will be looking to just kind of flip him in there, the exact same kind of thing he does versus every god. Uh, he's just going to kind of look to throw him into the archers, throw him into the tower, get some guaranteed damage, and have Tail Whip just do the rest. Uh, the portal is going to come through here, which is going to port uh, Mass safely just into missed. the lane. I like that using the portal is, as, as a setup. You know where that person is going to come through. Yeah. The madness just barely missed. Uh, as far as lengthwise is concerned, but was on point. I like the predictiveness, the predictive nature of that move. Well, three minutes is going to spawn the first set of harpies here. Keep in mind, if you're new to Smite, it gives you the most experience besides Gold Furies and Fire Giants, so you want to make sure you control them. They spawn every three minutes. It's dynamic, not static, so it's not every three minutes do they spawn. 
it's three minutes from when you previously killed it. Yep. That'll mean a lot once uh, once we see, usually around the six minute harpies, they come around 610, 615. Uh, we'll see a fight, and that'll really delay the third batch of harpies. So players need to, when they're fighting and killing those harpies, players need to look at that time clock at the top of their screen to really make note of when the next harpies will spawn because it's such an important objective to really secure. So famous hate now. Just still trying to stay alive. He finally hits level 5 here. Now, Uller doesn't really have an ultimate, right? It's just a yeah, switch no. stance, but uh, the extra point into the 3 definitely helps as he can just kind of set that up as best will now just absorb this. So, Mark of the Vanguard here, he can he has no problem fighting in the creeps, which is also another huge advantage for Sobek, is that he can just kind of dive in and just say, oh yeah, by the way, I'm here. Yeah, the Mark of the Vanguard combined with the Sobek passive allows him to just tank those minions off the tower without suffering too, too much. Other characters, uh, their health would be a little bit more effective. Yep. So, Madman Mark and Shadow Q here, the, the Bacchus and the Uller. How this really works is Bacchus belly flops in, Madman Mark hits him with the stun when he switches to X stance, mm -hmm. and then they hit the burst combo. So when you're playing against that, notice how Famous Hate's not looking to aggress anytime soon. He's Shablanke. They're playing for the late game, man. Oh, yeah. They, they want nothing to do early. Yeah, Shablanke will, will just, as those kills come online and the, the power comes online and the bowlers come online, it's just... It's a final. It's a final statement character, more so than a, a constant, constant poke character. Where you look across the way at Madman Mark's Uller. Uller wants to fight. Uller wants to hurt you. That's really how Uller wins lane. Uller yeah. kills you. That's what he's looking for. You know what I'm not sold on? What's that? This entire season so far, and I always see the respect bands come out of TSM and Cloud Nine. Is this Arachne pick? Okay. Arachne. The only time I can think that I saw her. In this season where she had any kind of performance was with Weaken, mm -hmm. and he did 5,000 player damage to TSM. And yeah. it looked like he wasn't even playing. <laughs> I, I, I think I, I'm not, I just don't like it. Captain Twig plays a very good Arachne. Uh, Captain Twig's Arachne and Thor, well, those are really his two go-to characters. But outside of that, you know, I feel you. Um, Arachne is very much an assassin character. She doesn't offer much control. She's got a slow and really an escape. Uh, she's really, she's she wants to gank, she wants to kill, and we haven't seen much of that with the past couple of Arachne plays. Yep. So He's got one assist to his name right now. Jigs is going to get stunned out here. There's going to be a little bit extra. That's the follow-up comes, though, through space and time. is going to hit. He's got the portal. The portal is going to delay it, and now there's the follow-up. Famous hate gets one. Shing's on it. Last breath. Pushed into mass. Mass teleports through. Shing's still looking. He's trying to get it. To, to, oh, my God. The infinite <laughs> web's going to get him out of the here. Ultimate. There is no way. That is absolutely heartbreaking and possibly might start a tilt. If I was playing on denial, that, that's it. That's what Arachne does more so than anything else. This gold fear being aggressed on. Good, good flip coming out from the best. Combo through to the Uller. Will it be enough? There's the defense ultimate. And the monkey jumps away. Great use of Fear No Evil to really get out of dodge. Ultimate for the best is going to square out Geb. And now four members of Denial should be able to take this gold very easy. They've chased away everybody else. Hogs go down. Here comes Shibalaki trying to change no things. Way. Denial does take it. Should be looking for He's some dead. kills. He's uh, dead. Meerkat. Yeah, oh, no. Too aggressive. Yeah, Meerkat. He, he tried to poke and be cute. Uh, I guess almost forgetting that he didn't have... Fear no evil. If he had fear no evil, that's a brilliant fight for them to have, but yeah, he, he didn't have it. Second earlier. Oh, that's not good. Shing's going to actually start to come to life here. Uh, Shing right now, 0-0-1. Oh, oh, uh, so he's been involved already, but really, he probably should have died. And he didn't. So that, that's a huge victory for them. And I mean, that's really what both junglers are going to do. Or actually should have died, but she didn't. She ulted. You know, Sir yeah. should have died, but she zigzagged or, or ambushed out of there. So that's, that's really what I was alluding to in the picks and ban phase. When you talked about Sir Ket not working out the first time, it's so much fitting of Shing's play, play style. Just wanted to get in and out, no problems. I wonder if Shing's going to prioritize going with the Wing Blade again over Deathbringer due to the amount of slows again. I, I think mean, it depends on the state of the game. If Shing is ahead this time around rather than last time when he was severely behind, I think we'll see the Deathbringer first. I think you should just always go Deathbringer. I love it. I mean, that, that's, that's when Sir Ket hurts. Yep. Is Deathbringer comes out here. Uh, last breath's going to be pushed on. The poison's going to pass. The poison actually did spread on the mask. 
the the infinite wipe is not there as well. That's going to be a double kill. Huge play for Shing. Bang. Just like that, 2-0-1. Oh, giving his team the lead. He's already a little bit of gold ahead of Arachne going into that, and now he's going to be a full tier of an item ahead. He's going to have uh, Jotun's next as now, oh my god, best with the jukes. And oh, no <laughs> way. Oh, with the jukes. Watch, wait for the more. teleport. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh. he didn't go for it. Best has been playing lights out today. I, just great defensive play right here from the best. And you know this player, this player, best almost didn't play. He had a personal issue going on. wasn't sure if he was going to come out to play. Comes out to play today. Incredible showing. Loving what I'm seeing out of the solo laner from Denial Esports. Real players got to play, man. Uh, speed buff will be going into the hands of Shing, which will help him kind of scurry around the map. Uh, interestingly enough. This is going to be Hunbat's actually rushing the Transcendence in the solo lane. Yeah. Uh, normally we see the Jotuns come out on him, uh, mm -hmm. and that's just because we see him in the jungle. So Transcendence, it's going to give him some mana. It's going to give him a huge power spike once he gets it all stacked up. Uh, look to see him start to aggress. But the problem is he's got a very small window before this Warlock stash gets online for the Sobek. Right. So he really needs commitment from the Arachne earlier. Very true statement. You know, I like the transcendence on the Hun Bats in the solo lane. Solo lane allows him the time. It's sort of the oven, right? You get to sit in the oven. You really don't have to rotate unless unless it demands it. We have seen some early rotations, but you get the time to build that 2600 gold item, the time to stack it up. So by the time it really matters, you're hitting like a truck. Yep. Portal's going to get mask out of that one. 3 to 2 is the score. Gold, damn near even. Series, completely even. Oh, yeah. Only one team, though, will be guaranteed the split. And the mess is going to be there. Mask in a lot of trouble. Bead's still forced out. And he's got safe. the bleed on him as well. And he might fall. He oh. does. Wow. Shing right now, was <laughs> he's throwing fist bombs to imaginary he's friends and stuff because he's not next to his teammates. He, he's telling his mom he's proud of himself. This is this is looking really good for Shing. Shing is blasting the Beyonce right now. He is definitely feeling himself. So he's going to go ahead and kill like that kill and the mid camps. Shing, see, this is what I was talking about, man. One game does not describe your prowess on a character. Serket worked with Shing so well game two, really showing what Shing can do instead of game one. Or game three rather than game two. The main thing I'm noticing is that Denial is just so comfortable on the order side of the map. You can see their rotations are good, their pushes are good. They also control the jungle a little bit better as well. Yeah. Um, at least that seems to be the correlation between game one and game two. Now, Heroin won one and one. He's actually, well, maybe, maybe All Fear No Evil is going to hit as well. He's going to try to do this here. He has to dodge this. He's going to get thrown in. Lurking in the water is going to be here. Waiting on the so jump. Much. And he's going to barely miss that one. So <laughs> Meerkat might look to aggress again if he really wants to. He just, as long as he doesn't get tossed by Sobek, he's okay. Lurking in the water does so much damage. It really does. <laughs> it does an incredible amount of damage right here. It's going to be a two-on-one, though. No fear, no evil to his name. Giannis is going to come over. One of the more powerful things about Giannis, he'll use the ult to bring Arachne. And they're going to go ahead and save their friend just by presence alone. They didn't even have to fight. Just seeing that Giannis ult, seeing the, the potential of so many people coming to join. All right. All right. We'll leave you alone. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's terrifying, <laughs> man. One of the biggest strengths about Giannis is that the entire team turns into a semi-global team. It's very, very yeah. hard to deal with. Gold Fury is up. Shadow Q looking for it. Mace to the face. Trailing on his side. Famous Hate just really just checking it there with the soccer player, Shablanke. As now we will see Jigs Excuse and Mask. Me, it's football player? Stop. <laughs> don't, don't you bring that here. We're not casting a European game, my friend. <laughs> so, if, so if this was Trig versus Stars, would you have said football player? No, no, no. no. I still would have been just as ignorant. <laughs> 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 but, uh... <laughs> Oh, man. It's actually funny. What I liked about the Shibalaki, we saw, we saw the soccer skin before. It's, it's America. It's red, white, and blue, right? Yeah. But it was played next to the, the French Athena, so it just looked like French. <laughs> it was very fun. Uh, famous hate now still looking. He's got one kill, so he's got one stack on his passive. Really, I mean, Famous hate isn't looking to go out of his way to fight anytime soon. Nope, he is totally content. He's got his feet up on the coffee table saying, all right, just let me hang out. Let me eat. I'll come in 20 minutes. He's, he's treating this like a solo laner. Yeah, and yeah, that's pretty much what 
hunters have become now is really just waiting. I mean, it's a lot of money. I mean, you got dev gloves, which you got to fully stack up. Then you got your boots, depending on which ones you get. Mm -hmm. Then you have Ikavol, then Executioner. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a lot of money. Uh, Executioner and Ikavol alone is like well over 4,000 gold. Yeah, it's a lot. It, it takes it's a lot, lot to get there, so... Taking a look, mid harpies are going to be coming up on the right side. Denial is going to be in a place for those. Really, really, Sobek has kind of controlled the lane, all things told, uh, with the harpies kind of going back and forth, which oh. I almost kind of favored cognitive in that. Interesting right here. Oh, look we'll at this. Bring, bring that up to me again. We'll have a conversation. But right now, Denial trying to sneak out the gold fury. Uh, Madman Mark doing it by himself. Now here comes the support and the mid laner, and cognitive not here. Just not here at all. There's Great. the Isis ultimate. Love the use of it. And free gold for you for Denial Esports. Just sneak it around, taking objectives. Great job by the blue team. Yep. They, they had an idea where Jigs was. They knew he couldn't steal it. Geb also very good at taking objectives. So if he's not there, well, that's free. Experience now, 4,000 gold difference, 2,400. Mm -hmm. Purple buff going to the way of Shablanke. Red buff going the way of Hurlwind here. Uh, they find themselves down a little bit here. And actually, so Shing choosing Gotens is enough. And even though he's ahead, he's going to go into, I'm assuming, Magi's. Okay. Magi's instead will... of the Deathbringer, which will delay his crits just a little bit. Yeah, Magi's will allow Shing to, to be in, in and out of the fight more fluidly. Once it comes online, he won't be able to... He'll get in and start to do his thing, and mm. once he's crowd-controlled, he won't have to stop. So, for the mid-game, he's ahead of enough. Good ultimate oh, avoiding, and this might be curtains for me. Oh, no, he did it. Yeah, that's it. That's a perfect mess. Shing now 4-0, having the game of his life. He falls right through the portal. Beads will come out. Quick reaction time. Didn't want to take the follow-up damage. That would be guaranteed from Herwin, as he will now shove this. They have the pressure to do this. Bach is now rotating on the mm -hmm. minimap. Same with Arachne. Question is, will they look to actually go for the kill here? Just trying to pressure the tower just a bit no, as sir. Madman Mark's pushing through the mid. So here's my thought process. Blink into the Cataclysm. Great escape coming out from Mace of the Face. Follow-up's going to be there. Just not too much. Yeah. A lot less action than I thought would have happened in that fight. Yeah. Well, they're still looking for it here. Yeah, uh, Shadow Q catches an unstable vortex to the face, but... Fortunately for him, Giannis doesn't have his Warlock Sash finished just yet. Mm -hmm. And that's the one thing I do love about Giannis is the variety of builds you can have with yeah. him. He's like Ra. Um, you can go Doom yeah. Orb and, and full damage on Ra, or you can go max cooldown and utilitarian. Uh, sort of like the difference we saw between Zelia and Lobster in our European match today. Or you can, w and with Giannis, you can go full damage and really hurt people. Or do what Gnaw did in Season 1 for uh, Team Eager, then known as Team Dignitas, and really go a CDR build and get your teammates out of danger. So you can sort of pick and choose what you want to contribute to the f team fight as a single player. It's cool. Gnaw doesn't play anymore, man. How sad. Yeah. I like Gnaw. He's the marketing director for Team Eager now. Oh, is he? Yeah, he makes the website. Oh, gotcha. Uh, Mace now getting zoned out here. Oh, He's going to get stunned. And, oh, man, late Did Ink is happen? there. Yeah, that happened. Uh, oh, forced oh, oh. to finally just kill the babies. Uh, Drops there's... the war just for fun. Yeah, that, that's that, that's the panic. <laughs> I know that life. Yep. That's that's standard Scott Gameplay 101. <laughs> this tower will fall in the middle lane. Zigzagging all over the place is Shing. Not able to do enough damage. Buckets will be slowed, but he'll jump to safety. So, Denial lose their mid lane tower off of a gank that did not result in a kill onto Mace of the Face due to some fancy plays, but the tower does go down, so Cognitive Gaming gets the gold for that. 37 to 40,000 gold <laughs> is the gold right now. So, Denial, 3,000 in the lead, but Cognitive still within grasp. Yep. So, we're seeing that the invade's starting to come out here from Shang. Shang could be in some trouble there. He hits the Mez, beads beautifully, gets all the way out. Geb still trying to commit, and you can see him just cancel out of the rollout, saying, well, I could chase, but I'm not sure what's over there because we don't have that sufficient of ward coverage on the Fire Giant side of things because it's only 17 minutes. Five kills to two. Denial leading in that category as well. But the kills don't really seem to matter. Last time, Denial didn't have as many until later on in the game, so... Uh, the, that five kills to two is really just a mark of how aggressive these teams are being. And we talked about it. Chipolaki just no rush. 
No rush for him at all. But right now, there's three members in blue barking down his front door. He can't really defend by himself. Gonna need some help. Here comes Herwind dropping. Nope, that's a denial ward. So they'll be able to understand that Herwind is there. And because of that, they'll play it safe and they'll back off just a little bit. This is actually really smart that they're grouping over here because the gold fear is getting ready to spawn up. Love Mask that combo. Could be in a lot of trouble. Might be forced to ultimate here. The beads come out through space and time. Will come to try to stop him just a bit. And now Shang try to throw it on to him. Try to get the poison on there and split it. But Giannis just dashes right through the portal. Madman Mark, he's down 200 gold. Hasn't been in a single fight yet uh, with his team that resulted in the kill. Burp comes out. Shadow Q in the middle of a cognitive sandwich as the throw will happen as well. Mass now finally in a lot of trouble. Stone Shield's gonna be there and he will use the infinite <laughs> web to get completely out. Uh, Meerkat's gonna get about half his health taken away and that's about it. Yeah, that spider so, 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 so safe. But this will allow Denial to go ahead and create enough space to pick up the Gold Fury a second time. Cognitive Gaming still in the conversation but a little bit too late, Scott. I think the Gold Fury is down far enough, and it is. Denali Sports go ahead, pick up their second Gold Fury of the match. So Denial really have their eyes on those objectives. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much just chipping away at Cognitive Gaming. Cognitive Gaming playing yep. a little bit passive right now, and Denial is kind of making them pay, saying, well, if they're going to play passive and they don't want to fight, which is what we want to do, then we'll take the objectives. And if they don't want to fight there, then we just take the free objectives. It is really the thought process behind this is Giannis will now be able to take the right harpies and now we will see the teams head back they'll steal the speed buff or take their speed buff rather yep. and uh, head back and buy up so Denial has been playing on the left hand side of the map a lot more than they did last time Scott uh, they saw a 0, zero, zero on their hunter and they decided this time they need to help well, them out wow. a little bit more you remember when Denial snuck the gold fury earlier in this, in this competition well this isn't a snake bro Tailwhip's going to guarantee damage here. The follow-up is real. There you see the satellite come down as well. Everyone's stopping. Best able to get one. Shang able to get another here. Mask is next. He gets flipped over the alligator's arm. And now Shang just looking. He has to be careful. Shablanca is here. And now he's forced all the way out. Spirit Ball is thrown defensively to per try to keep Shang alive. And luckily it did. Yep. Just enough. Kind of gaming with a with a gutsy play right there. Not able to go ahead and successfully pull it off. But Denial now, they're going to start the Fire Giant this time. But it looks like they're just doing enough to bait. They don't actually want the objective. They want the fight over the objective. Unable to stun. The spider is Mace of the Face. Now he's stuck in the slow right there. Going to use his damage to get out. But surrounded. One, two, three, four. Four blue members are here, and it's just enough. Madman Mark gets his first kill. No more sad man Mark. That was awful. That was really <laughs> good. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Thanks, dude. <laughs> I like your shirt today. Uh, Fire Giant has been started up here. Shake on the, uh, it is a good shirt. <laughs> Chablanca ultimate hit. Mez as well on Famous Hate. Zigzag as well. Forced to jump all the way out. Jigs now comes in with the Cataclysm. Shadow Q is still on it. Intoxicate Boom. goes down as well. Mace gets one. Denial Esports able to take the Fire Giant. Still pushing forward. This could be very, very bad for Cognitive Gaming here. Badman Mark has the follow up there. The beads forced out as well. Shake That's gets it. Oh, wow. That's that hit. The long range hail of arrows from Uller. Are you a good Uller or not? That is the question you have to answer. Madman Mark answers it correctly, buzzes in. And that one goes to him. I love to see that. And really, you know, we talked about this how. How Uller wants to fight a little bit earlier than Shibalaki. Dude, they're they're he, they're they're fully healthy, bro. Eventually, they, they might be able happens. to take this game right here. If they really ever so plead to, please do. I mean, Meerkat's down for 20 seconds. They probably have the DPS to take it out. They're full health bars. They can definitely do this if they wanted to. They're gonna play it safe. I like the decision. Better to play it safe here. This is game three. Loser goes to relegations. Okay, the winner of this fight, I know we've been talking a lot about going to the Spring Split Land. This game between Denial and Cognitive Gaming, whoever wins this game is safe. They don't have to worry. Uh, they're, they're not going to land, which for a team like Denial that is newer on the scene, like we've talked about how they've played together for a long time, right? But Denial with Shing, this current lineup, Madman Mark specifically, they're newer. They're not going to go to land. They need this time to regroup. Uh, if, they, if, they, if they lose this fight, 
They go to relegations, which means they have to keep their mind fresh. They got to keep thinking they might lose. I'm, I'm not sure if Tadano is going to lose this fight, man. I mean, Magi's and Deathbringer finally finish here for Shing. Uh, Sobek now finally getting 91 stacks onto the <laughs> Warlock Sash. Uh, very, very long process there. Next will be in E staff uh, if the game goes yeah. that long. So he's, get, he's already pretty tanky. He's got enough Dude, armor and protections for everything else. Ice is now with the breastplate as well as the Chronos pendant, giving her full CDR. Mm -hmm. And the crit one coming out and shell of absorption. I, COD Gaming, they don't need a miracle. They just have to really single one person out. They need Shing to die. Yeah. And Which is the opposite of last game. Yeah, they need Shing to die. Barreling down this left hand lane is Denial Esports. Not going to die on that tower. That one goes down, no problem. Deathbane is on cooldown. So going into this next team fight, for at least a couple more seconds, just walking in. Shell has popped to combat the del the darkness from the Shibalaki. This is in a dream. comes Cog. They're trying to play defense right here. No kills just yet. So much damage, but no kills. Oh god, famous hate Stone Shield. What a play out of Jigs. My god. Far left Phoenix will go down. Far right is already down. Madman Mark getting the lifesteal off of the creeps here. Runs right into an unstable vortex. Shadow Q barely missing the knockup as they are going to continue to push up here. That's a meerkat. They don't have the follow up though. Mass still on them. Mass forced all the way out here. Does have the stone shield preventing him from getting thrown back. But just wow. like that, it gets taken away. Infinite web forced out. They're whittling them down just, just fine. They have the lane starting they to shove up. The fire minions coming, which is, well, <laughs> yeah, they. Fire took out of them, no problem. So now they have to pick and choose here. Shadow Q still trying to hit the belly flop. And now the Titan finally starting to get attacked at 87%. Make that 100%. This is, <laughs> this is a very long fight. I love that the Denial's not retreating. They're totally fine to keep fighting here. Hurting the Titan, it does keep healing once they walk out. They're going for it now. Wow, Ice big. Ultimate is down on the ground. That's just going to take the Titan very quickly. And that is game three, folks. Denial Esports, take your victory. And they take it strongly. They're going to win it, and they will be safe from relegations. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a huge, huge victory for them. Uh, so now we will see Cognitive Gaming actually fight for their lives yeah. versus Challenger Cup teams or potentially an invite spot team. So this is going to be uh, pretty interesting to see what happens. Hopefully, what I really hope happens is that Cognitive Gaming doesn't split up. That, that's what I really – this team – all things considered, really, really good as we go ahead and take a look at the first blood here. Yeah, I mean, the, the first blood goes the way of Cog. It's Herwin. Just picks one off with that unstable vortex. I, I think this team is good. I think they I have the pieces to move forward together. Uh, as long as they don't get relegated down into the Challenger Cup, I think they have a good future in the SPL. So if they can stay here, I don't think they'll be bottom feeders. Yeah, I, I, I think so, too. I, I think as the season progresses, they will do just fine. But oh, let's yeah. go ahead and take a look at the jungle camp here and see really what uh, the map can tell us. Uh, Mid Harpies going 68% in favor of Denial. Uh, only 36% of the mana camps and speed camps, they have a little bit of an advantage as well as the power. But big story here, three for three on Gold yeah, Furies. that's the story. One for one on Fire Giant. Gold Fury is a story 100% right here with this entire map. You can almost ignore everything else. They split it down the middle. They even lost the mana camps. But 100% Gold Fury, three for three. They snuck one. They got two. It's just how you do it. Yep. Hit the objectives. Yeah, it's big. I, I mean, this is, this is the denial we expected to see, right? We exactly. both kind of went into the same D denial should be able to do it so uh but on the phone here we do have shing and he's also our player of the game having one hell of a game here with the circuit uh despite having a oh, rough yeah. one shing are you there buddy yes can you hear me ah oh, how are you man Hi. oh you. my god hey all right so shing walk me through it okay game number two you don't get the best of luck with circuit is this normally one of your standalone gods that you're very comfortable with and you just had a bad game in that game number two, and that's why you picked her again? Um, yeah, I... So Kat is pretty... I'm pretty comfortable with her, but I knew that game. You guys don't know what happens behind the you know, scenes for yeah. the players and their team, but I knew 100% that I could blame Mace to the face for that game, <laughs> and I just... I chose to do that. I collected myself, I calmed down, and then I... I just... I knew I could do it the next game. <laughs> why did you but blame Mace? Mace? Why'd you blame Mace? No, uh, secrets. Secret. I can't. Oh, oh, oh I the can't secret? Share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's, it's always his call. He's feeding and, you know. Oh, okay. gotcha. Yeah, the feeding, man. I get it. I get yeah. it. So, uh, all right. So, Shang, uh, it, it wasn't the best 
I, I mean, it was actually a really good season for you, but it would just happen to be short. Are you guys planning on sticking together and going into the split, too, with the same roster? Uh, yeah, we are. We're planning on, you know, practicing like every other team and uh, getting ready for a summer split, and hopefully we can do better then. Awesome, awesome. Dot, you have any questions for him? Uh, yeah, Shing, uh, great performance today, first of all. So when, so when a team... You don't make the land, but you avoid relegation. So you're pretty much in that nice in, in that nice zone. Are you using the extra time? It's sort of time off. Are you using the extra time to really prepare extra hard for season two, or are you taking a little break? How does that thought process go for a um, player? Well, for me, since I go to school at the same time as well, it's kind of a nice break because I can focus more on school right. and just kind of relax. I mean, I've been taking time off streaming, but with school ending here soon, I'm hoping to really get back on the grind. Nice. Well, where, where are you getting your degree in? Uh, information it's, systems. Oh, yeah. I thought you were going to say juggling. I thought he was going to say <laughs> No. <laughs> no I should have. Oh, you should have said, yeah. you should have said feeding. No, Shig, you should have said feeding. That's, that would have been the real point. Culinary school. <laughs> All right. Don't uh, be that much. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, Shane, you have any uh, shout-outs, comments, questions uh, before we let you go? Um, no, just shout-outs to my team, publishing, always supporting, and, uh, yeah, all the fans out there. And good luck to the teams in the upcoming land. All right, thank you very much, Shang. We look forward to seeing how Denial will do here in uh, split number two. But yep. before we get into that, let's go ahead and take a look at the North American standings here, guys. It all comes down to tomorrow. TSM is locked in. Cloud9 will take on AFK Gaming in a do-or-die scenario. The winner will make the land. The loser, well... They have another month of practicing oh, yeah. ahead of them. <laughs> it is... The it biggest game is, of the split. Oh, by far. Easy. It's going to be nuts. But that, that's going to do it for us here on Saturday. Make sure you guys tune in tomorrow. There are going to be huge matchups for Dot and myself. Thank you all for watching.